Good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 9. 9? <laughs> Told you it's going to get harder from here on out. From here until Christmas Eve. It's just going to get harder. Um, I hope you guys are having a good morning so far. Um, it is early. It is, well, not that early. It's almost 7 o'clock. But we're getting ready to get ready. Getting ready to get ready for church this morning. Um, so we've got that and that's really all we've got going on. I snuck down last night and while my kids were showering and stuff and got my hood attached to my Kelly and got my lining attached to my sleeves. So today I just want to finish up that hem and I'm going to need to sew the waist casing again. Um, my bobbin was doing something really crazy when it was sewing. So I'm just going to use that line and sew back over it. Um, and that way it will catch in the lining. So I've solved that issue. Um, so I need to do those two things and then my Kelly will be finished. And then, um, yeah, then I, I maybe will clean up my sewing room a little bit. Um, I need to clean my serger really bad. It's pretty yucky. Um, and I want to sew with a whole lot of knits next. So it's going to get a workout. So I think I may, um, might be my plan today. Finish my Kelly and then get my serger all cleaned up and ready for the next set of projects. Um, and also finish my um, ebony blouse. I just got to do the hem switch to cover stitch and do the hem and sleeves. So that's the story for today. And um, yeah, see you in a little bit. Okay, day nine. Here we go. Oops, I'm knocking everything up first. It's hard, they're all in the way. I get a lamp post. Ooh, lamp post. Why are you so excited? It's just a lamp post. Okay, I had some deep um, wardrobe thoughts here. We are standing in my closet. And first, I would just like to point out this little section from here over are all of my fall and winter hanging items. Okay? Okay? I've got some sweatshirts up there and like painting clothes, like crappy stuff. This is my husband's golf shirts or that he wears to work. He does wear them to work. All of his sweaters, his sweaters, his jeans, we have our towels, his quarter, three quarter, half zip sweatshirt things, an extra pair of sheets, dirty clothes, all his jackets, all his button downs, work pants, and t-shirts. <laughs> There's my shoes, and his shoes are all down here, and all up there, his stuff. Okay, just want to point that out. Also, I have stuff folded in drawers as well, but he does too, probably more than I do. So anyway, <laughs> just wanted to, I just wanted to throw that out there. But um, I'm standing here in my closet and I was trying to decide what to wear for church today. And in the past, you know, you stand here and you're like, oh, I have nothing to wear. I definitely do not feel that. I have taken these opportunities now um, as a, a moment to, to stand and look and think, you know what, I need some winter dresses. And I do, I really need some winter dresses. I have very few dresses um, here. And probably need to cool it on the coats. I've made a lot of coats and jackets and cardigans. Like I could probably cool it on that now. Um, I was easily able to find something to wear today though because I've been doing the capsule sewing. So I'm gonna wear my Camille pants that are right here, um, right here. 
with a button down and a sweater. But um, capsule sewing. Okay, so this was, starting this YouTube channel was all about exploring, you know, being an opportunity for me to explore some different ideas and that kind of thing. And I actually have another idea I want to explore, and I'll talk about that later um, on the channel. It's really, I'm mean, kind of excited about it, just something different. Um, but capsule sewing has allowed me to have a wardrobe that I can always find something to wear, but at the same time, it makes it super easy for me to find the holes. So I can easily come in here and say, you know, okay, I could use a couple of dresses. Um, and then that's what I can put on my sewing list for next. So basically, I guess just more deep thoughts by Whitney. <laughs> I just want to talk about, you know, it's something that I have explored in the past couple of years, um, really getting into like the capsule sewing and sewing things that all kind of coordinate and go together. Um, I haven't done my hair and makeup yet, by the way. <laughs> um, but I'm really, really enjoying the, um, the fruits of all of this capsule sewing. Like it really does help me get dressed in the morning. I really don't have to think about it at all. Um, makes it very easy to throw something on um, for different occasions, for parties, for church, just for everyday wear. Um, anyway, if you haven't tried it, I would recommend starting maybe with a small little capsule and seeing how, um, how you like that. But not only does it help my brain sewing that way, I just kind of like sewing that way, but man, it makes for a very um, usable closet. So little PSA for the day. I'm going to finish getting ready for church and I'll check back in later. Okay, folks, all ready for church. I took my sweater off, um, I'm wearing my Camille trousers with um, my suede brogues, which makes these pants a little bit long, but I kind of like that. Um, they're hitting the ground a little bit, but I don't know. I kind of like that look a little. It's a little Meghan Markle. <laughs> um, yeah, with a, uh, I think this is a McCall's pattern, my button down shirt, which actually has fishing lures on it. It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> But it's just like a denim chambray shirt. This is one of the first button downs that I made where I had that aha moment that, oh my gosh, I can actually wear a button down shirt because it doesn't gape. Um, I need to pull this pattern out again, actually. I have a couple of iterations of it, but um, it's fitted. So it's got darts in the front, um, of which I need to lower my bust dart. Side dart, front dart, and then it's got darts in the back that kind of pull it in, which is kind of nice for a nice tailored blouse. So anyway, that's what I'm wearing for church. I uh, just wanted to show you guys real quick, and I will um, see you soon. We are home from church. I'm clearly in sweats, but look, my coat, yay. All the hems are in. I now need to go through and put my snaps. Um, sorry, that's in the way. My snaps on both sides here. And then I need to finish off the ends of my cording. And I think that's it. This coat is so warm. I am like unreasonably pleased with this make. <laughs> it, it, I, there was such a hole in my closet for a really warm coat. Um, this thinselet is like a uh, game changer. So there's the lining. I've got the Bimberg. You kind of see the Bimberg on the inside of the coat, of the sleeve, I mean. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me get the hardware on and then I will uh, show you the finished. She's finished. Oh my gosh, happy day. Look at this, guys. Oh, I'm so excited about this. It's extremely warm. I've got all of my hardware on that took quite a bit of um, muscle. <laughs> Everything is on the hood there. Oh my gosh. I am going to be so, so warm. I am so excited about this coat just because, I mean, I've made this before. Um, again, you've seen my other version. I'm just so excited for a warm, really warm version of this. Um, 
yeah, I couldn't be more pleased. Yay, finished the Aunt Kellyanne wreck. I did want to point out, when I was talking about the zipper the other day, I said that I wasn't going to put zipper stops. Let's see if I can. But you will see I ended up putting a zipper stop at the top of my zipper. Oh, come on, focus. Focus. There we go. I ended up putting zipper stops at the top of my zipper um, because there's a gap here and I didn't want my pole flying off. So I am going to, I'll put a link in there of where um, I get all of my zipper supplies. It's Wawac. I've put links to Wawac, I think, almost every day. <laughs> um, but these little guys are super easy and you just literally clamp them on with a pair of needle nose pliers. So, anyway, yay! You can also get the um, stops for like a closed zipper that like go across the little bar that goes across the zipper tape. Um, you can get those. You can get extra pulls, all that kind of stuff there. But for now, yay! Okay, I'm going to do some cleaning. I'm going to show you before of my serger and then an after because I've got to clean. Um, there we go. I've got to clean my serger out so that I can do some. Um, knit sewing and that kind of thing. Anyway, okay, that's it. Okay, full disclosure, this is what the inside of my serger looks like right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed to show this, but that's what happens when I get on a roll with sewing and I just don't stop to clean anything out. So we are going to clean the serger, give it a little oil, a little love, then it will be ready to work hard for me. It probably needs a new blade here sometime soon, too. I put a new one in not that long ago, but it probably needs a new one. Um, anyway, yes, this needs to happen, and I'll show you what I'm going to use. Okay, so I bought this set from my sewing machine like uh, dealer here in Indianapolis. I'm going to try and open this one-handed. But basically, this attaches to the hose of your vacuum cleaner. Um, this piece does well, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I can clearly not do anything one-handed. So this piece here um, attaches to the hose of your vacuum cleaner. And then on this end, there's all these little attachments that come to help get into the nooks and crannies of your sewing machines, sergers, that kind of thing. There's like this little bitty brush one. Um, some like angled ones. I don't know that I've actually ever used these, which I think you can put these attachments onto this to get like, I don't know, into the nooks and crannies. Um, uh, same with that. And then this bigger one. So I usually start with the biggest, and I think this is another adapter, um, depending on like the type of hose you have for your vacuum cleaner. Um, but I usually start with the biggest, so I'll start with this one. And then I'll go to this one, the smaller brush one, and then I finish up with this guy because it gets kind of in there and all the nooks and crannies. So um, remember, this is what it looks like now. And I'm going to snap my fingers and in the um, wonder that is video editing, it will be clean. Ta -da! Oh, look how clean. And I've oiled this one part, that bar, that cylindrical bar that goes in and out like that. That's been oiled. That's the only part of my machine I'm supposed to oil. Oh, she's clean. Okay. She will be ready to, um, to take on some knit. A lot, actually. There's a lot of knit stuff I want to make, so um, I think a large majority of the Winter stuff I'm going to be sewing this winter is going to be knit. Not all, but a lot. Okay, so she's ready to go. Clean serger. Happy sewing time. Okay, guys, end of day. Getting on here just to say good evening, good night. We're getting ready to eat dinner. Um, my day has consisted of television and fire. It's been lovely. Um, so yeah, after finishing my Kelly and cleaning my serger, that's really all I've done. Just snuggled in with my family and <laughs> had a wonderful afternoon, Sunday afternoon. So, um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed Vlogmas Day 9 and yeah, have a good night.